hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am back with another video and in today's video we are doing a sewing machine maintenance yes i am going to show you how i do a bit of uh, maintenance on my sewing machine and i am going to be using my manual is a guideline so this is what we want to work on today sewing machine maintenance so in order for you to do your own sewing machine maintenance obviously you need your manual because the sewing machines are different so i'm just going to flip onto this page and see what we need to do okay so this is going to be my guide and so in this tutorial what you're going to need is you need some sewing machine oil That's what I'm using. You can get this at any local store that sells uh, sewing machine, sewing stuff. You're going to need your screwdriver that comes with the sewing machine. I don't know what this is called, but we're going to need that. You're going to need an old toothbrush. And so if you have um, clean painting brushes that you haven't used, you need those. But because I don't have, I am going to be using some makeup brushes <laughs> so I clean these and after I'm done with my sewing machine maintenance I'll obviously clean. Obviously clean them because they don't belong to me and I hope I don't get into trouble so let's get this video started so as you can see uh, my sewing machine is a, is a front load bobbin and we have quite a bit of fluff as you can see and we just need to clean that up so what you're going to do is there are these two hooks they're not hooks but I don't know what they're called in anyway. what you're going to do is you're going to move them like this so they're like that move them do the same thing on the other side and when you've done that should be able to pull this out okay so this is the hook crease and also this see all the dirt we need to clean it up So what you're going to do is you're just going to grab whatever brush you're using. So I'm going to be using this brush. So I am going to use it to clean the inside. might grab my tiny little brush Just going to turn the hand wheel so that I make sure I'm getting every corner. see the difference I see it don't know about you but I see the difference 
So there's that bit of brown stuff at the back of where the bobbin goes. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to take my cotton bud and try to clean it up and see what it is. I think it's oil, but yeah, let's see. So once you are satisfied that the bottom part of your sewing machine is clean, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your sewing machine oil and we need to oil this part guys. According to my manual, we need to put just one drop of oil on this part. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm just going to turn it, make sure that the oil goes, you're turning the hand well. To get the oil in there, that should be enough. So, you're going to quickly clean this up using your brush. don't know if you can see the inside of this thing. But you can see there's fluff in there, so you need to clean that up. And when you're done cleaning it up, you need to put it back. So in order for you to put back your hook race, you need to make sure that this is on the left side of your sewing machine. So we're just going to turn it like this. And then take your hook race. And you're just going to put it in so it's not too hard then grab this so this face is so this face is the inside this should be facing out and your pin will come and fit on this little opening here like this like I'm broken the wheel but anything See? And you're just going to put these pins back. Should be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. So when you've done that, you're done with cleaning the bottom part of your sewing machine where your bobbin goes. Where's my bobbin case? Put everything back. So now we want to clean the feed dogs. So in order for us to do that, we need to remove this needle plate. And I'm just going to remove the presser foot. Remove your presser foot. And then we are going to remove this. And we'll use this baby right here. You can see there's also fluff so we need to clean that up and that's where the toothbrush comes in I'm just going to use our toothbrush to clean the feed dogs gently
just going to grab a cloth and wipe this area clean. And we're just going to put back the needle plate. Screw everything in place. So we also need to do a little bit of cleaning on this section of the sewing machine. So there's a screw right here that we're just going to remove and do a little bit of cleaning on the inside. Apply some oil and we should be done. So we're going to grab our screwdriver and we're just going to remove this part. There's a bit of fluff that we need to remove. So we're going to grab our brush. So after cleaning that up, there's another part of the sewing machine that we need to apply a bit of oil and it's this part right here. So you'll notice that as you move your hand well, this goes up and down. There's motion, so watch. So we're going to apply just a drop of oil here. And we're just going to move it up just to get that oil in there. Okay. So if there's any, 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 any. So if there's any extra oil, just going to take our and just tap on here. Should be fine. And there's a little bit of thread. Back for my previous video, I took a whole lot of time time to remove these bits of thread that get stuck. Like whenever you thread breaks, there's always something that gets stuck and that is the situation we have. I need to remove it, so I'm just going to do that off camera. Guys, look. This whole piece of thread was stuck in there. So once you're done oiling that part of the sewing machine and removing any lint or threads, you should be done. You need to put back the cover and Looking at the cover, that, that is the inside, you need to wipe that clean and you're also going to just wipe your sewing machine in general, just clean it up, I don't know whatever stuff you choose to use, clean it up, put everything back and you should be done. So as you're doing this sewing, main, sewing maintenance guys, 
you don't need to plug in your sewing machine at all so your sewing machine should be off while you're doing this whole maintenance that was all i had for you today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and comment down below what you thought about this video